I've killed myself in the pursuit. Got to be realistic now. Is this even possible for us? You've been asking for this. I'm going to do it. You all want to see this. Here we go. So we're going to do it finally. I'm going to see how fast I can go in Forza using the bumper cam. We're going to do it in the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. Rivals should be a great way for us to see. At the moment, we are 7,000 in the world. That was set using chase cam. Am I going to be faster using bumper cam? If you've got a favorite camera, let me know in the comments. So here we go. Logitech McLaren G Challenge. We're going to do it. I'm doing it on my Logitech McLaren G Pro direct drive wheel and I'm excited because it's quite a difficult car to drive. Remember if you're watching this you can enter the Logitech McLaren G challenge at home over a hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes to be given away. More information description and again put an interesting comment in this video an interesting question you've got and I'm going to choose from this and the last one and give away a pair of Astro A50 headphones to a lucky viewer. Okay here we go then we're going to be a bumper cam. Am I going to be faster? Let's find out. Oh man, I can feel the lack of grip on the turning now. Okay, we're a bit lower down here than we are in uh, Gran Turismo. Don't know if we got a ghost. Might just be behind us or something. Or I might have cleared it. I can hold the oversteer so much better. That's as far as we want to be for track limit. So 1 minute 19 I think we had, isn't it? Can we get a 1 minute 18? See me counter steering quite nat naturally as I would do if I was karting. Come on, come on, come on. the barrier anyway it's not that's not going to be faster by a long way that really was a long way off where i was in the chase cam so maybe i'm just not going to be faster maybe because i don't have as much visibility I've, I've said all this stuff before like there are a lot of reasons why you might want to use chase cam i'm going to come back in here hopefully we get a different rival and a ghost and let's choose our rival then if we go to the leaderboards can we go europe and I'm 25th in Europe. What? I'm 25th in Europe? How's that? Surely that can't be right. Surely I can't be 25th in Europe. No, I don't. This is not. This isn't. I'm going to set this guy as our rival and uh, hopefully the ghost as well. So here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe a bit more grip now. Crash surprise. Ah, oh, give me some car points, yes. So difficult to drive this car. Goodness me. I want to go back to my nice third person view. I'm not sure I am faster in this view, but come on, we've got to give it... We've got to get in the groove. Let's go. Come on, one more lap. Don't mind that. Oh, 
That's not gone well. That's not gone well. That's suboptimal. That ain't the line. Don't copy that. But I think I did learn a lot, actually, about really not trying to get that back end out at all in the S's. Just being very gentle. Very gentle with it. I want to do it now for my bumper cam bros. I see you. Huh? We go again. Come on. Let's build it. Don't worry. Let's build the pace. Let's build the pace. We won that 18. That's that's a grand prize anyway for us. I really want to see where that'll put us. So we carry a lot more through here we do that and is it a fourth gear i don't know just don't hit that wall man Be nice. All over the cab. Come on. Come on, 18, 18, 18! Got to get that 18, bro. What about a really wide one like this? Nah, you can't do that. Not in this car. Not in this car. You can't... You can't carelessly sort of try and bang, bang. You, you just... You, you gotta go through the neutral position in this car. Before you start slamming the, um... The weight transfer. So 19.5... I'm gonna turn the fan on. I'm having to put the fan on here. Do you think we can get an 18.5? 18 18.5, an 18. Half a second. We definitely can. 100% we can. We're, we're still being tentative because we're not maxing out the car. And just a reminder, if you want to enter this, enter the Lost and McLaren G Challenge, just do it in Rivals and then go to the Discord link in the description to make sure you're fully entered and you'll be in the grand draw to meet Lando Norris at the Spanish Grand Prix. And also in the draw for loads of other prizes from Logitech. And a big thanks to Logitech for sponsoring this video as well. Getting us involved is awesome. They didn't know I'd go this hard in, in the Rivals time trial, but I'm just addicted. Look, I mean, look how difficult the car... I think we can try and come out like here next lap. Then bring it back. And then maybe a short break here and then really turn it in and then go, I think. Something like that. 
Come on then, come on, what we got? Let's pull out the fire. much time to be getting to Come on. Not off track. Millimeters in it. Got my gear ring wrong through Netsu calls last time. <sighs> I've killed myself in the pursuit. Gotta be realistic now, is this even possible for us? I mean, my car's seen better days. <sighs> get some slicks on this. Let's see, we're gonna go for it. Let's see. We need to get a, a ghost that's gonna be under 19 seconds. One, one minute 18 ghost. Let's see where that puts us on the older uh, leaderboards. We're now 5,000 in the world. So just about in the top third, but so much more time to find. I don't know whether some sort of assist here is going to be helpful for me. I just don't feel confident putting down the throttle. So and I'm getting more in tune with the car. You can see I'm just I'm not wildly fishtailing it as much as I was. Yeah, these guys at the top not using any assists. What about in Europe? I think the guys at the top using manual clutch. It's gonna be tough, you know. Let's go actually, sorry, go near me. You can see we've got ABS on. If everyone who's gonna load here is not gonna have ABS, then maybe we try it without ABS, but surely with no ABS, we're just gonna lock up everywhere. Let's come back down. Yeah, all, all of the lads here, we've all got ABS. So that's our rival right now. And I'm not sure we're that much faster than when we had uh, third person, but you let me know. A lot more patient there. Ah, he's got a much better exit. You can see why he's been working on that. Oh, he's got a huge drift there, my guy. So it's not the best end to the lap for him. I 
Finally, we're starting to hold some of these drifts. I think we can get this guy. to be three tenths ahead of that ghost. Basically four tenths. Go for a layer apex. We might get a tenth or two here. Yes, that's massive. That's massive. That's huge. The fireworks. That's mad. New rival. That's huge. Goodness me, where's that time come from? Have I arrived on Forza? Forza, I'm here. Watch out, everyone. Your boy's arrived. Yeah, I'm here. Come on, 18.8, everyone. Woo. I think it is faster. It's faster than third person. Don't know what I'm doing differently. Maybe a bit more confident on the brakes. I'm a bit more confident using the curbs now. I'm just instinctively um, counter-steering. This is kind of a little bit like each sim has its unique characteristics. And in fours, I'm now like, okay, that's what the fours feedback saying. The camber, the curb, now I can just drift it, hold it in line, whereas before it was just all catching me out. That's too much. That's too much. Okay, can we do better than an 18.8? Not this lap, obviously, but maybe this one. on the way in. Now, now we can just see you've got to get that entry point right in the first part of Hakone. Otherwise, you can't afford to be too tired to the chicanes. Here, I feel like we can break a bit later than this guy and maybe catch up. Might be Constantino, I don't know. But I feel like we can catch him here. This bit, I just haven't really worked out today how some people are carrying so much speed. Maybe it's a little bit of, like, cheese in the rotation. Now I feel like I can actually start to give you some... If you made it this far... Put a sunglasses emoji in the comments. So I know you're a Fools Arrivals absolute hardcore. And because of that, now I can give you the tip. So let me talk a bit about what I'm doing. So now I'm feeling the force feedback to let me know how much grip I have available rather than trying to apply it too much in the back end coming around. So I'm really trying to break as late as possible here past the white line. down to fourth gear because it gives me some maneuverability you want to go wide at some point i think and then make sure you get on the power here for that this apex right here then open this one up lift a little bit use the weight transfer to pull you around don't go too wide might be able to catch this ghost up to seventh gear here we're going to break super late down to fourth gear and turn in early. Maybe a fraction deep, I don't know. No, it's all right. Then this is Dark Arts. I think I want to be closer to that curb. So we'll try and attack that curb a bit more. Keep it in fifth. Down here, don't go down to fourth, it's too low. 
Try and ride that curb, probably. Then fourth here, brake late. Uh, don't go too wide. Made a bit of a mess of that, gone too far. And then super late apex. Look how much time that ghost has got there. Wow. He's absolutely destroyed me in that last part. Fair play. Let's go back in time. All in the last set. Right, here we go again. the apex here. Keep it tight on the way in. Don't be afraid to keep on the power, I think, because the back end will push around. So fourth gear, and then we're going to try and really get close to the apex for a second right-hander. For this one. Fifth down here. Shoot it in. Wow, they got a very different line through the last sector. They're not coming out wide, so maybe that's better. wide on the turn in there could have just turned in a bit tighter that last sector is very good or she Doing some lazy turners and it's just be a bit snappier on the turning, but we are ahead of the ghost. Let's try and extend here if we can. A bit wide. Oh. Who would have thought that'd be possible at the beginning of all of this? Goodness me, if you want to get faster on Forza, I mean, I know I make loads of guys on this channel, I do sim racing coaching and Gran Turismo mainly, but just, just do rivals. Just literally just do rivals. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, 18.8, defeated, slain. Okay, where does that put us in the world? Are we top 5,000 race results? Where are we in the world? Top 22%. I like it, but honestly, fair play to all these people 
ahead of us. But yeah, 18 point, whatever we got, 18.8 was it. I'm very happy with that. Let me know what you got in the comments below. Make sure to ask me your question. Any questions you got, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe as well. I'm very happy about that and I will see you next time.